Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Maniology, Mania Me, May 2021. It always comes with the two cards, one describing the items in the box, and the other one showing a tutorial on how to do a manicure. And these are really neat, especially if you're new to stamping and these boxes. So we're going to get started looking at these plates. I'm going to show some pictures because uh, they look better on the screen than what my lighting would let me do. So we've got MXM 055 and 056, both beautiful stained glass looking plates. And then we've got the two polishes. This is a jelly, which is called glass. I would really prefer to have had another stamping polish, but anyway, and this one is shattered. This one is a stamping polish. I am going to stamp with both of them. And the extra this month were these little, um, I guess, flakes. I don't know, but they're real pretty. <laughs> oh, multi-chrome, duochrome hollow. And they still have that double wrapping over the tops of them. I am going to clean them off with some acetone real quick. Give them a little wipe down with a paper towel. And these are etched so well that they're kind of chewing up the paper towel. <laughs> but to me, that's a good thing. You know, you want your, you, you know, you want them to be etched well so that they pick up good. But here we go. We're going to wipe, 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 scrub, scrub. Get that all over with. And here we go. I am going to swatch these both out on the caps. You can see how jelly that is. It's still very pretty. I'm not I'm not knocking it. I just, you know, would have preferred a stamping polish, you know, one that shows up on other stuff besides white. And then here is the shattered. That one was glass. This one's shattered. And I like it. I think it's very pretty. I didn't expect it to show up very good over the black, but if you did a top coat, it would show up okay. I'll be using Lynn B Designs Expecto Patronum as my base color on this sample today. I just wanted to play with this box a little bit before it got, you know, so far past the date that it wouldn't have been relevant. Um, I do like to show things that you might could still get your hands on while they're available. But this is like a very icy baby blue with lots of hollow in it. So that is going to be my base. And then I'm going to use both plates. Um, well, I'm going to use, no, I'm going to use just this plate. I loved these little turtles. And I'm going to stamp that out with bases loaded on the black. And then we're going to do some advanced stamping. I'm going to fill these in with some of the polishes from this box. Well, probably just the one. I don't know. We'll see. You just never know with me. So I'm using an ice cube stamper also for maniology. And the image picked up pretty nice. I'll be using my What's Up Nails O Mermaid brush. It's a very tiny detail brush. And I'm going to be using that to fill in. <clears throat> I've got these old Elevation. And this one's Temperance. And then I've got Maniology's Glass Out. And I'm going to fill in with these colors. Um, I don't know if Elevation Polish is still in business. You know, if, if you're interested in something like this, you can Google it. But this particular polish came with two other colors that are like tortoise shell colors. And I know this is a sea turtle. I know the difference between a tortoise and a sea turtle. But this is what I saw in my head when I was, you know, saw the box and the stamping plate. I thought, okay. And this is just where my mind went. So I wanted to show you all this. Now, I want you to notice that since I didn't put anything over the top of it, and I did a little bit of dragging, I have messed up some of the back of that turtle shell outline in the black. And I didn't notice it until I started editing the video. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, I really prefer to put like a clear coat down before I do my coloring in. But I was in such a hurry to play with this that I, I just skipped it. So I've turned the stamper around so I can get to this smaller turtle up here. And I don't know why my eyes place tricks on me, but when I do these, these little tiny images, I almost don't know where 
the turtle begins and ends. I hope I'm making sense. It's just kind of hard for me to realize where, I mean, once you've got it painted, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I can see it. But when you're filling them in, it's kind of plays tricks on me. So I'm filling in those turtles with that, like, caramel-colored jelly. I'm telling y'all, that thing is old. I bought it to make tortoise nails, and it's been a minute. So I'm cleaning my brush off with some acetone, and then I'm going to go in with glass, which was in the box this month. And I'm just going to fill in some parts of this with this color. These are like little seashells and stuff. Like I said, sometimes I don't really see the image until after it's painted in, which could be a problem if you were, you know, like a perfectionist, which y'all have watched my channel long enough to know that I'm not. I'm just a DIYer, just like some of the rest of you. I just like to get in here and play. I'm not making any groundbreaking um, designs or anything. I'm just doing what I feel like. I do different colors, weird out-of-the-box stuff. So if y'all like that sort of thing, just stay tuned because I'm sure there's more to come. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put some of these colors. And I thought about leaving some of it blank to let that other color show through. You know, the Expecto Patronum, but I kept looking at it, and I couldn't let it go. I couldn't just let it be. No, I couldn't. So, we are going to do some more to this, because that's how I roll. You guys know, I get kind of crazy. And I messed up and took my stamper out of the stamper head, thinking it'd be easier to work with laying flat. But then I realized with it kind of sticking to the math that that might not have been a good thing. I've got this old G-Gal called Twisted Jealousy. It's this like funky greeny duochrome, at least duochrome, maybe multi-chrome. And I'm going to fill in the rest of those areas with it. It kind of reminded me of like the like seaweed or not seaweed, but you know like seagrass or you know, something you would find growing in a pond. So, I just thought it would go well with this. So, I decided to fill the rest of the stamper in with it. And I do better if I do the tap, tap, tap method. But sometimes I get carried away with that brush and just feel like I've got to pull some of the polish. And that's where you mess your design up, like my poor little turtle's back. But I think it's going to be okay. Now, if I was putting this on my nail and would notice that, then I would probably start all over. But since this is really just kind of like a demonstration, I decided to go ahead and share it anyway. That, po that polish is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Liking it so far, except for the fact that I messed the design up on the turtle's back, but It'll, it'll, it, like I said, it'll be okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to let this one really dry because it's got quite a bit of polish on it. So I've let it dry. It's dry now. But I'm going to go ahead and um, use this Butterbeer from Vibrant Vinyls. It's the Get a Grip Sticky Base. And I'm going to put some of that onto my nail that I've already painted because all of this stuff is really, really dry. Oh, and I was showing the Wet n' Wild because I did run that over, after it dried the decal, I did run a coat of that over it just to kind of hold it all together and everything. You don't, you don't necessarily always have to do that, but with me doing this application right here, I wanted to make sure everything was going to work. Okay, I'm not happy with that, so I'm peeling it up and moving it. <clears throat> which is if I was stamping it straight on the nail, like my nails, then I don't know. You know, I would have, I would have had a hard landing and had not been happy. But I was able to peel this up, and it's because I acted quickly. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my little snippy scissors. These are my thread nipper scissors that I love because I can use them with my right or left hand. And I'm going to just trim off some of this excess. I don't want all of that 
some of it I do like to have to kind of melt down to the nail and everything. Make sure I'm wrapping all around the sides and the tip real well with it. But I don't, a lot of this I don't want on here. I don't want to have to clean it up with acetone. So there we go. We're going to mush it down some more. And now I'm going to go in with my acetone. And <clears throat> just do some like, you know, dab, 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 touching. And that melts it. That acetone just makes it stick to that nail so good. Smooths it down. I do a lot of tapping and rubbing. And wiping it off and reloading. There we go. I really think this turned out cute. Even though I messed up the image on the back of the turtle. I still think it's cute. Got like a little glob there. I don't know what happened. But we're going to just keep on going. So now I'm going to go in with some of the smudge free top coat from Maniology. So that smudging you see on the back of that turtle was where I messed it up making the decal. So I didn't get any smudging from that top coat. And now I'm going to put some regular top coat on it. I'm pretty sure I'm using some sesh feet here. That's what it looks like. So I'm covering that in with some glossy top coat. So I do have a discount code down in the description box if you'd like to get 10% um, off of your Maniology order. Uh, there are some stipulations on that and, you know, it's not for sale stuff or whatever. And here is my little nail that I did. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.